my parents used to hit me with this. <laughs> I want to use it to cook today. Very nostalgic, right? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're not gonna go out and review any restaurants anymore because Hanoi closes all the restaurants again due to the complication of COVID. So, I'm gonna cook at home today. And last time I asked you guys what I should make and by the way, if you haven't followed my social media yet, make sure you follow them if you want to learn more about Vietnam. Anyways, you guys wanted me to do caramelized and praised pork belly with eggs. In Vietnamese, we just call it thịt kho or thịt kho tàu and is one of the most popular dishes for Vietnamese people. And you can see Vietnamese people uh, eat this dish during Vietnamese Lunar New Year or just a daily meal. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make it. But first, let's go shopping for some ingredients. This noodle brand is very famous in Vietnam. Wow, they have bubble tea here too. And sweet potatoes. Okay, I'm getting distracted. So let's refocus again. The first ingredient we need is pork belly. Make sure you choose the one that has fat, lean, and skin in there. And we also need some eggs. Of course, fish sauce is very important because it's the spirit of this dish. Okay, everyone, so I have all the ingredients here. As you guys can see, they are so basic and very easy to find. Of course, you need pork belly, fish sauce, sugar, uh, chicken stock powder, peppers, and I have garlic and shallots here, basic Asian ingredients. So in here, I use half bowl of shallot and four gloves of garlic. But first, let's clean the meat. We're just gonna give it a massage and rub it with salt. And after that, we're just gonna rinse it with cold water so it's gonna be hardened. And later, it will be easier for you guys to cut it. Okay, and then after that, you just cut the meat in the size of two fingers. Like this. Oh, my, my knife is so dull. Now we're just gonna mince the shallot. After mincing the garlic and shallot, you can just put them right in there. And shallots. And then we're just gonna marinate it with sugar, salt, uh, sugar, fish sauce, and other ingredients. First of all, we're just gonna put sugar in here. Asian people don't use tablespoon or teaspoon to measure because, you know, our ancestors just whisper to our ear when to stop. But for the sake of this video, I've just used two tablespoons of sugar, okay? Just in case you guys don't know how much, because this is the first time you make this dish, okay? Yep. And then after that, we're just gonna use probably half of a spoon half a tablespoon of chicken stock powder, okay? And some peppers. Yeah, I want more peppers. <laughs> yeah. And the most important ingredient here is fish sauce. The more fish sauce, the better, guys. Because we're just gonna marinate it for 30 minutes. There you go, so good. Okay, so now we're just gonna boil four eggs in six minutes because after that we still need to boil eggs in the sauce. Okay, since we still have time, I'm gonna cook rice. You know, like Asian nightmare is when your mom comes home and then the rice is not cooked. So I'm just gonna make sure that I'm gonna cook rice before the meat. 
So after rinsing the rice, we're just gonna put water in here, measure the rice, and then cook the rice. All right, so I'm gonna teach you the Asian way how to cook rice, probably. We don't use any cups, we don't use any measurement tools, we actually use our fingers. So I've learned that to make perfect rice, you would use one knuckle of rice with one and a half or two knuckles of water. All right, so we're just gonna put water in there. We don't care like how much water we put in there because we can drain it later. First, we have to flatten the rice, okay? And then we use our finger. We see the rice is like right here. So the water should be a little bit above the first knuckle, okay? And let me see. So the water is like right here. Right, so it's a little bit too much. I'm just gonna drain some of it out. And you can see like when I stir it, the water is too much. Okay, so I'm just gonna drain some of it. Let's see. Okay. I think that's pretty good, right? Yep, so do it again. So we have the right is right here. So we want the water here. There you go. It's right here. Perfect. Now our rice is gonna turn out beautifully. Okay, we have a dilemma here. <sighs> I haven't touched the rice cooker for a long time since I moved back to Vietnam. And I just realized it is in Korean. Like, see? The button is all in Korean. How am I supposed to read it? Gosh, I think I might have to use Google Translate to make sure that my rice is cooked before my mom comes home. Wait, uh, what? What is that? Reheat. Okay, reheat. Good to know. Uh, what? Reservation? What the hell? Like, what's the cooking button? Bố ai có không tìm thấy cái đấy đâu cả? Cái cái để nấu đâu cả? Đây à? So my dad is gonna teach me how to use this. Okay. <laughs> we forgot to block. <laughs> okay, here. Gosh, okay. Now yeah. Okay, if you're Korean, don't laugh at us. Is it this one? Get it? We save them. Go and get mail. Phải khi nào nó quay quay đúng không? Thì nó được chưa? Chắc được rồi chứ. I think we got it. <laughs> What's the OH stand for? Okay, we're just gonna leave it there. Okay, so now the eggs are done. I'm just gonna run them through cold water and then I'm gonna put some ice in there so it's gonna be easier to peel later. Hey guys, okay, this is too short. I'm just gonna lower it down a little bit. Okay, here I'm just gonna stand like this. I feel like I got a lot done, but the most important part is to make uh, the caramel sauce. So usually we have this one is called nuk mo. It's actually um, with like brow color. So when you put it in the meat, it's gonna give it a very beautiful color. But since some of you don't have it, I'm actually gonna make the caramel sauce myself. All right, so what we need is just water and sugar. And then after that, we're just gonna boil the sugar until it turns a dark brown color, you know? And then Vietnamese people say cánh uh, rán color is actually the, it's not so disgusting, but then people say it, uh, the cockroach wings color. Yeah, so it's like a brown dark color. Make sure when you boil the water with sugar, you should keep an eye on it because it's gonna be very easy to burn. Yeah, it looks like the sugar is about to turn brown, so I'm just gonna use uh, like a longer chopstick. So, because it's very hot, so I'm just gonna use, let's see, maybe this one? Because, yeah, there's no normal one. Oh, my parents used to hit me with this. <laughs> I wanna use it to cook today. Very nostalgic, right? <laughs> But yeah, I was just gonna, wow, this is weird. Um, we usually use it to stir rice or like to scoop rice out. But, well, we, I can use anything, right? Stir more often, like this. Now I think it's good because I don't want it to burn. 
I'm gonna put the meat in. Ooh. And then stir it. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful it is. With the color. I can smell the garlic and the shallots in there. And the pepper as well. Okay, my camera is not focusing. <laughs> Guys, look at this beautiful color. And now I'm just gonna put a little bit of the coconut water in here. And then just simmer it for about an hour. Yeah, and then if you don't have fresh coconut water like this, you can use um, like coconut soda. It's good too. You see all the bubbles here? You should take it out because Asian people do that. There you go, just check it out. And then this is the worst part because I feel like when it's boiling, the fish sauce is gonna, it's just gonna go everywhere in the house. I remember whenever I cook it, I usually just put the lid on and open all the windows so the fish sauce smell can like get out. Yeah, but then whenever my roommates come home, they were like, what the heck is that smell? <laughs> Guys, if you hate your roommates, you can certainly cook this dish. Yeah, but I love my roommates to death. I decided to torture them first and then still share the food with them after because I know they love Vietnamese food. At first, they couldn't smell the fish sauce, but then they gradually love Vietnamese food. In my opinion, Vietnamese food represents very well Vietnamese people because Vietnamese people may not seem as friendly, as smiley as Thai people, but then when you really get to know us, we are very kind, very friendly, and very easy to make friends with Vietnamese people. And just like the food, it doesn't smell good at first, but then when you attempt to give it a bite, it's gonna taste better than you expected. So I feel like that's the beauty of Vietnamese food and Vietnamese people. So we're just gonna check if the rice is cooking. Oh. oh my gosh. What should we do? Boy, lap up. Gosh, what should we do, guys? <laughs> okay, so my dad figured it out. So maybe we have nine minutes left. There we go. So usually it needs to have a circle running like this. Yeah, so now I think it's good. So after the eggs are done, I just peel them off. Yep, and then I usually use some toothpicks and then I just poke the eggs because I wanted um, the eggs to soak up all the good spices in there. I'm just gonna poke it like this. Yeah, so it has some uh, space for the spices to absorb in the egg. So now I'm just gonna take the sauce if it's too sweet, too salty, and then from here I can adjust the sauce before I can put the eggs in, okay? A little bit too sweet, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put some more water in here, and then I'm gonna put some more fish sauce in here. Alright, so I'm just gonna put some water. Some fish sauce. Yeah, so maybe you should put like one tablespoon of water because what happened is that you're gonna uh, like do the sugar to make the caramel sauce later, and then you're gonna use um, you're gonna use the coconut water as well. So it's gonna add up more water, uh, more sugar. Yeah, so that's why it's a bit too sweet, but it's okay. We can fix it. Okay, just gonna put some fish sauce. There you go. And then hopefully it's gonna taste good after. Perfect. So yeah, just adjust any spices um, and ingredients in here. It really depends on your preference. So, all right, when the sauce is good, we're just gonna put the eggs in. So it can absorb all the sauce in here. And then we'll leave it about like five to 10 minutes until the eggs turn brown. Okay, so finally our rice is done, guys. And the rice turns out beautifully, right? So yeah, just use your fingers to measure the rice. And then I'm just gonna scoop out some of the meat in the rice. And then 
This is the result, guys, after one and a half hours. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this. Guys, look at this. It's a beautiful caramel color in here with the meat and the egg. So now I'm gonna give it a try, okay? <laughs> here, can you guys see it? I'm just gonna try it with rice. Mmm. Gosh, I'm so proud of myself, guys. It is really good. Hmm. Yeah, so I feel like the meat is just melting in my mouth, guys. Because they're a fat, lean meat and the skin. So when you boil them for one and a half hours, it's very, very soft and it's so good with the rice. And with the eggs, I feel like I can just leave it a little bit longer so the sauce can absorb the egg. But overall, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, so this is my first time doing cooking tutorial. And I feel like this is the worst video to show somebody to cook Vietnamese food. I didn't know how to turn on the rice cooker and I like put too much sugar in my sauce. But eventually, they turned out pretty well. And now, look at this, beautiful colors pretty good taste right so that all matters so thank you so much for watching my video so if you want me to do some more content like this um, maybe cook at home or some other contents about Vietnam just let me know in the comments down below okay and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel so I will be back with more videos and you'll be the first one to be notified for the next videos all right I'll see you guys soon bye